Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary playing uh, Vigar versus Zoe. This guy also... I don't know who this guy is, but I think he's good. Also, this is Viper. So they have Viper top lane. This guy seems like a smurf name, not really sure if he is. I think this guy is a smurf. Anyways, we're playing against Zoe. She has Airy, she has Cleanse for me. Uh, I took Cleanse and Spellbook. So the Cleanse is to make sure I don't die in lane because it's very easy for Zoe to kill me. And then the Spellbook is just for getting like TP later or just, you know, Spellbook is pretty good on Vigar. And I'm not going GLP route because... I mean, I guess I could go GLP still. But I felt like going Spellbook is better because if I take... Uh, spell no spell book then it's kind of difficult to um take cleanse and uh glacial augment when you take cleanse and glacial augment then it's hard for me to reset and i feel like this is better where now i can reset and use tp to come back using this of course it i have to wait until six minutes before i can use it but i don't know it just sounded good i've seen people taking spell book more recently so i just want to test it it's not like I'm going to lose, like, the game because I took Spellbook over Glacial Augment. For the most part, we're just going to be farming in this lane matchup. I would say that this is more Zoe favored, but as soon as I can, like, get out of laning phase, and if I have, like, 100 stacks or something, I'm definitely a strong champion. But Zoe has way more poke early on, and uh, she can wave clear much better. So I'm kind of at her mercy, and I'm just going to do my best at you know, occasionally poking when I can, and uh, see what I can do. Oh, this is not good. Because my wave is gonna be fucked if I go. What? They didn't even commit? Wow. All right, I'm coming now. Zoe's gonna be there. Oof, this is actually just a disaster. At least I got some uh, AP. That's kind of nice. That wasn't too bad of a trade. And they somehow killed him on the way out, despite Olaf being level 2. Wow, that's crazy. They must have really overcommitted then. I need to shove this wave all the way in. That's what my goal is right now, because I don't like that it's kind of like slow pushing towards her. I want it to be fully crashed. gonna hit her and I like I knew that she was gonna hit me there but I got a minion and plus hit her with my Q which is kind of nice I am far up in lane so she can run me down she does not have ignite though so oh I have no ward I was gonna go ward golems or not golems but raptors but can't top lane's a freaking disaster oh I'm just dead Actually, I'm not. Nice. I didn't die. My wave is completely fucked, but... It is what it is. I can't really do anything about that. Actually, can I? Wow, she's fixing the wave. I'm gonna stay then. She should have just let it slow push towards her herself, and it would have been really bad for me. I don't know why she did this. Nice. I don't really want to fight. I just missed a bunch of creeps for walking back over. Okay, so we're both somewhat out of mana. That's why I'm staying. She can't... I mean, she can kill me. If she sleeps me, I'm probably dead. Ah, actually, maybe not. I would almost be dead. Gonna use another biscuit just to get back some mana here. And we are doing okay.
I can uh, sleepy this guy, or not sleepy. Oh, fucking, I'm not Zoe. Hello. Ma, uh, I don't know why Trundle waited so long. I thought he was gonna come immediately. Maybe his uh, W was down or something. That could be it. I can't get that creep. If he wants to try to take it and not die, that'd be great. Yeah, he's gonna die. Oh, no, he's not gonna die. In fact, we're gonna fucking kill this guy too, aren't we? And we can kill this guy too, maybe. Okay, we can't kill this guy. He has triumph. That's the only reason why he survived. All right, never mind. This guy's a smurf. I thought that he was trolling, but clearly I'm wrong. This guy's really low. <laughs> Top lane was a complete disaster earlier too. I don't know what happened. He was actually like 7 CS 01 versus Solution and now suddenly he's winning after getting that Olaf kill. <laughs> Bot lane's pretty even. I'm not gonna have flash for a while, so let's just swap this to, I don't know, Ignite. Why not? Oh, I didn't buy any health potions? Dang, I thought I bought refillable there. Whoops, that was an accident. I'll have cleanse available soon, so she will too, because she used it the same time as me. She used her real cleanse, then picked up mine. Nice Q, bro. Nice Q. Okay. Uh, I'll have to cleanse. Dang, if I queued her there, I could have ultied and she would have died. Yikes. Uh, I used my cleanse because I didn't want to get hit by her Q. Damn, if I had potions here, I'd be in a really good spot because I could just use these potions to heal back up. But let's just go take this instead. She'll get first push from this, but it's fine. I'm not even going to get all of them. I'm just going to run back mid. I can kill her if I land a stun. Oh, I missed the cannon. It's okay. Okay, so she backs, so I'll back. Also, my flash is coming up soon. Uh... Let's just get this. So we have the potion, we have the ward, we have biscuit. This is not going to be up for a while, unfortunately. It's okay though. She has redemption. We're just going to continue farming. I don't think I want to actually fight her. I think I can't fight her. I can like throw down my stun, but then I can get hit by her sleepy. So who's going to win? Because I have no cleanse. I'm going to lose every single time basically. So it would be better for me to just farm it out until my cleanse is back up. Then maybe I can at least do a little bit more. Oh. I'm probably going to get hella chunked here, unfortunately. Ouch. Bro, I know that you're doing that. Oh, nice. She healed the minion, so I could kill it. Wow, nice. That was good by her. Might be able to get her flash here. No? She's not gonna... F does, does she not have flash? I guess not. Well, that is the risk of going super aggressive, I guess. 
when you go aggressive all the time and you are versus a jungler who actually can just slow you down, I guess that you could just get ran down like that. He's six and one. Okay, cool. I don't know why Trundle didn't think that uh, we could one-shot him. I was like, oh, we can just one-shot this guy. I should have done on the way ping. And then uh, he would have known. He would have known if I did the on the way ping. So that was a mistake by me. My bad, Trundle. <clears throat> but I do a lot of damage. I had Ignite available instead of Flash, so I kind of wanted to use it too, so I could have some other abilities ready. Let's grab our GLP here. Okay. We're also really stacked. We have 83 stacks, so that's pretty good. It's about 8 per minute right now, which is not bad. Mm, I could take TP. Ah, uh, there's no good TP wards. It looks like they won anyways, though. Whatever. Well, now I don't have cleanse, which is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> Zoe's bot. Let's see if we can find her in the jungle. I'm a little bit worried. No, never mind, it's fine. She can't one shot me. Continue playing around the super, super fed trundle. <laughs> we can uh, stun that for him so he deals more damage to it. Let's put down a deep pink. Let's swap our pink to be deep. It's much better vision control and it denies vision from them because we know that they have no ward in there. So if we ever want to collapse spot lane, we can run through that path and they have no idea where I'm at. They'll see my path, but they don't know if I'm like coming or not, which creates a lot of pressure. Oh, he died top. Can we go bot here? Are they not under tower right now? They are. We can kill this guy. In fact, I might not even get the kill. Nice. I just want an assist at least, but we got the kill instead. Back mid we go. That's the thing with, if you ever take mid tower super early, it's so easy to just collapse. So easy. Because all you have to do is you push up far and then go through their jungle. That's what enables... Um... Oh. What? <laughs> I'm so confused what that guy's doing. I can die here. I'm just gonna back all the way, dude. I'm not risking Zoe flashing on me because she definitely can. Not not worth it. I'm gonna back way back here. I play Zoe, I know how she works. She definitely can do some flash trick on me and kill me. Damn, my TP's ready, but I mean, I am really low, so I can't really go immediately. We can go now. Let's grab this so we get some more movement speed too. Oh. Damn it, dude. I think if Senna played a little bit more towards my side, we could kill this guy, but I guess he was getting killed by Olaf. We went really fucking deep there, too, because I was trying to help this Trundle. I did not- maybe I get a cleansed and Olaf Q to, like, make it so I could keep on running away, too? I'm not sure. But, mistakes happen. That was definitely not our fight. There was probably stuff that we could have done, though, to fix it. Um. Wow, I have 131 stacks already. I have almost 300 AP this early into the game. That's actually 
super fucking good. All right, so I'm gonna take Ghost here. I'll run mid. This guy might even die, unfortunately. Oh, nope. Okay, cool. She doesn't. I'll be able to collect mid then. Nice. I have a plant or my ulti coming back up here. So if I get a good stun on them and she has no cleanse, we should be able to kill. And I'm almost level 11 as well. Why is he just sitting inside that brush? Oh, there he is. Get out of my lane. Back to farming we go. I'm almost level 11. Nice. Level 11 we got. Let's use Ghost here to run over. Hmm. Damn, the Sivir ulti was just a little bit too late. We can just ulti that guy. Might as well kill him. Oh, nice. He actually caught him, too. Yeah, I mean, I I can one-shot anybody with the amount of AP that I got. If you have around 300 AP with Vigar, look how much damage my ulti does. Like, 900? Like, it's actually an insane amount of damage. So just landing a WQ on somebody is a free kill. What can we do here? Nothing? Nothing. Just farm up a bunch again. I have my ulti coming back up, and we can just throw down our stun here. Right here. Throw down the stun, maybe. Close, close. Oh, I'm gonna fucking die, maybe. Oh, never mind. She's going for Sen instead of me. Let's kill that guy because he got stunned. Unfortunately, Lucian barely survived. Oh, nice. I hit her with that. I have my stun available here again. Dang, Sivir could have killed that guy. Oh, no. I'm gonna fucking die. Wait. The Sivir didn't use her E, and she also didn't help me kill the Rakan. Dang. That was a misplay by her, but it's alright. This, this game is so over, just because... Ah, uh, actually, maybe it, it could come back. I mean, the only person who's really... Actually, I mean, this guy's kind of not doing well either. I was going to say it was only Olaf inting, but it's actually not. Dang, we're going to lose this Mountain Dragon. That kind of sucks. I kind of wanted that. Oh, well. And sell this, buy these. They got Rift. We have Ghosties, and we have Zhonya's as well. So we're on a pretty good power spike for catching out people, that is. Oh, word? We didn't even lose it. Uh, let's swap to... Do I need a swap? I don't know. I don't know what to swap it to. I'm just going to keep cleanse, actually. You can pop ghosties here. Oh. Uh, I don't know what she was doing there. Let's just throw down our stun here. Boom. Lucian, you're stuck. Yeah, you have to flash. We're just going to keep on doing that, dude. We're going to find our pick eventually. Kill that guy. Nice. Kill this guy. Nice. Done here. Nice. And then he's gonna die here. It's taking a little bit of time, but we're gonna get him eventually. Alright. Okay. Nice. We did a really good job kiting. That's you for Vigar, for the most part, you just play around your stun. 
I mean, the, I how I play the game, I just play it like a certain way, but I'm not actively thinking about it. But that's definitely something that I've noticed from trying to explain how I'm like playing these fights. You just wait for your stun, continue chasing them down, and I mean, it's gonna work out. Uh, let's go death cap now because that's gonna give us an immense amount of AP. It is kind of risky because I'm like, you can see how squishy I am. I literally can die from like anything. And then right here, this play was so simple. We know Zoe's gonna ulti in. When she ultis in, it makes her stuck in place. I throw down my WQ preemptively and just ulti her, and you know it does crazy amounts of damage, so free kill there. I did 600 damage. Uh, let's see if... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Didn't one-shot it. Let's just clear this. Boom. We are getting some nice stacks. Let's just pop our ghosties here, see what we can find. We have cleanse available. Oh, do I need a cleanse here? Nah. Nobody's gonna hit me. So I get to save that cleanse, which is really good. Having to use the cleanse is always a bummer. Because it's a really important cooldown for us. Alright, let's walk in and get vision control together. We got the mid wave shoved. We're all here together. Just gonna throw down the stun cage in case Rakan wanted to go in on us. That's gonna counter him from going in. That's why I threw it down. You never know if they could be all like uh, sitting nearby or like maybe two of them are sitting nearby or something. Um, back to farming we go a little bit. That guy's dead. She just walked straight into my stun. Pretty random, but we can just grab that free kill. I have TP in base if I back. Do I want to back and grab that TP right here? Watch the. Oh, wait, we don't have TP. All right, we're staying. We're staying. We're just going to throw down the stun cage here so we can finish this uh, Baron. Just to zone them out. You saw how it made it so Rakan and Lucian couldn't go in? That's what we wanted. Uh, let's grab heal here. I have a lot of money on me, so uh, I don't want to die. Uh, it's going to be a long chase, but we'll probably eventually catch him. Nice, and I got an assist. Feels good. Let's continue farming up those stacks. We're at 250 stacks already. I'm not going to be able to kill that. Nice, and we have death cap too. Let's see how much AP we're going to have. We have 508, you guys ready? This is going to be insane. Oh my gosh, I have 800 AP at 22 minutes. 800. The reason also, I guess, uh, I think I explained this in my other buyer video. The reason why you max... The reason why you max uh, E over W is because W has a 1 to 1 ratio, while E gets longer stun, lower cooldown. And it's broken. It's a 2.5 second stun. So broken. It is like literally one of the reasons why you should ever play Vigar. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm dead for sure, but whatever. I flashed to kill Zoe. I wanted to ulti her, but I messed up. That was my mistake. I definitely shouldn't have died there like that, but whatever. Limit testing. We're at 812 AP. I literally gained like a, a little bit of AP from just fighting. It's actually hilarious. This also has a two second cooldown. It deals 1000 damage basically. 2.6 second cooldown because it has a 41%. Gosh dang, it's so much. 41% extra cooldown on top of it because of my stacks. All right, so it looks like we did a throw a little bit, like, but we still got multiple stuff. So this isn't a time to worry or anything because we're getting objectives despite dying. So we're still getting a lead overall. Me dying there like did give some money to them, obviously, because you see Olaf did get 800 gold for me, but I'm not really worried about this Olaf. He's been running it down all game, so.
Okay. Now we just need to all go top together. Very simple. We all go top together. And we, uh... Okay. Made him use his ulti. That's good. That's good. Wait, what? What? That didn't kill him? I'm actually shocked. I'm shocked. Uh, looks like Lucian is being fought. So I was like wondering what the fuck was going on. Mm, that guy flashed. <laughs> so like right there that's like one of the benefits when you play like if you want to improve it you have to have good awareness of all your surroundings and i know my team's gonna end the game so like but over here you guys know what happened i was fighting somebody right and i knew my teammates were fighting and they were pretty low and they are probably pinging that i'm rotating if you guys didn't know that over here so i knew that they were probably going to try to cut me off here so I actively was trying to go for MF, and then I knew that they would come in, and I actually got a pick because of it. Because I threw my W down in there, it's like, oh shit. Like, they, they didn't expect that. They thought that I was just going to continue running. So I threw down my thing blind, because I knew that they would probably be inside of there. Uh, Trundle popped off, so we'll give it to him. Nice, D1 on this account. I actually went from D3 to D1. I literally skipped a division. I know it says D1, but this was inside a Grandmaster Challenger game. This uh, account has high elo. My other account is already Challenger, so I'm trying to get two Challenger accounts right now. So this is my second account, so just to let you guys know. This was not a diamond game. This 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 actually has, I mean, it literally has an LCS player in it, right? So uh, we can see that we did the most damage. Obviously, the early game kind of sucks because, like, it looks like I wasn't really put behind by any means and my teammates were winning inside the bot side. But hopefully you learned something, especially about what I'm thinking about and, like, all these, like, things that you're thinking about when you're inside high elo, like, looking at uh, situations where low elo players probably would make a mistake. I think low elo players would actually continue chasing MF and not realize that there's an opportunity to maybe pick off the people because I'm inside of their head, right? I know what their move is, so I'm, you know, I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking of the steps. Uh, it doesn't always work, and of course, sometimes I am the person that it happens to, but those are the types of things that challenger players think about all the time. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.